What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the JJW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome and today I'm going to be telling you why I personally think that Jacob Eason is or was cut by the Indianapolis Colts. So real quick before we get into the topic, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like, put this, make sure you subscribe, put the no, post notification bell on so you don't miss any future uploads and let's get right into the video. So Jacob Eason, you know, he was a fourth round pick a few years ago in the Colts draft. You know, he he has a cannon for an arm. He has a cannon. Now, when he was coming out, we all knew he had a cannon. We all knew he had an arm. It's just a matter of fact of if he can control it or not. You know, and he has not shown the ability to be able to take some steam off of it if need be. He just, you know, he just didn't compose himself like a franchise guy either. You know, when he came out, one of the big reasons why he dropped also is because you know, he could not throw on the run. He really struggled to throw on the run. And, and, and in today's game, you need to be able to throw on the run. And if you can't throw on the run, you're going to struggle. So, that was one of the main reasons I think that he fell. And also that, you know, he just doesn't compose himself as a franchise quarterback. You know, he just never seemed to have the edge. He never seemed to have control. He never seemed to have what you want from your franchise guy. You know, you want a leader. Not a guy that's, you know, I'm not saying he's focused on, on himself, but he just didn't lead the team in training camp either. You know, there were many reports from Kent, many other reporters that Jacob Beeson did not compose himself as a franchise guy. And, you know, there has been reports that he is not a effort guy. You know, he doesn't put 110% in every single day, every single practice, every single week. I don't remember where it was. Where I saw it, but I know I saw it someplace. And, you know, training camp, he, you know, he did have a decent training camp. He did. He had a decent training camp. But then, you know, Carson Wentz got healthy for week one game. And Carson Wentz played decent. He wasn't terrible. He was okay. He was okay. You know, Carson Wentz has only gotten better since. Besides that Titans game where he got injured. But Jacob Eason just doesn't compose himself as a franchise guy. You know, he doesn't go in and put in one ten percent. You know, he doesn't seem like the guy that's gonna keep working hard if he if there's a big wrench thrown in there. You know, we and we've seen it. That's that's what I think it is. I don't think those coaching staff, I don't think that Chris Ballard likes his work ethic. And we know when the Colts draft someone, trade someone, or sign someone if they're adding them to the team, you better have a good work work ethic. And and if you, and if you don't you're not going to last long, even if you get picked up. Very rare to get picked up and you don't have any of those ethics. Or very strong ethics at that. It's Colts team, it's Colts coaching staff, general manager, management. They all want hard workers. They're not going to settle for anything less. A player that comes in and works every day, shows that they want it, That th those are the players they want. And, you know, Jacob Eason showed some promise in the preseason. He did. He did. He absolutely did. But, you know, one thing I want to mention, one thing I want to note is, you know, Chris Ballard and Frank Reich always, w whenever they're asked of Jacob Beeson, they're always like, oh, he was a fourth-round pick, he needs his time, you know, he's not going to be great right away, you know, he needs his time to develop and come into his own. But then the moment Chris Ballard or Frank Reich is asked about, asked about Sam Ellinger, they have very high praise for him, very high praise for his competitiveness, his motives that, you know, he's a hard worker. He'll come in and work every day, 110% every single day. And I think that's why the Colts really want Sam Ellinger over Jacob Eason. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Jacob Eason isn't talented. It's just, I don't think he has it mentally. I don't think he, I don't think he composes himself as a franchise guy. As we've been talking about, that has been the theme in this video. Of Jacob Eason. He. You know. It's just what it is. You know. Some people do. Some people just don't have it. And. Jacob Eason. I don't think he does. So. You know. Sam Ellinger is going to be the backup. Obviously now Eason's gone. So. That's big right there. So. Yeah. If Carson Wentz goes down. Ellinger's that guy. And you know. The one chance. That Eason got. To prove himself. Was versus the Rams. 
One of the best defenses in the league. Carson Wentz goes down with that ankle stuff. Carson Wentz goes down. And Eason gets a shot. He comes in. And he has over two minutes. He has over two minutes to go down and make a game-winning drive. And what does he do on the first play? He floats it to the corner. And the best corner in the league, Jalen Ramsey, picks him off. And... I don't know if there's been a talk since then. We talked about this on the Bring the Juice today. Matt Bear, Cody Felger, Derek, you know, we all talked about that, even the guests. That there must have been a conversation after that. That didn't go very well. Because, and you know, that Monday night game, Jacob Eason wasn't even there. He wasn't even in Baltimore. Sam Allinger was. Brett Hundley was. Jacob Eason was nowhere to be found. Because he's not there. So... I think this is the main reason that the Colts cut Jacob Beeson his work ethic. And he's not, you know, Sam Allinger, they just love his work, that work ethic more. They love his passion for the game. Jacob Beeson didn't show that. You know, maybe he packed it up after he threw it to the best corner in the league. You know, he had his chance. Maybe that's when he packed it up. And he said, nope, I'm not doing this. Sucks because he's a player that has potential. He's got the arm talent. He's got the he's got the physique. He's your prototypical quarterback size. He's your pocket passer, but he just doesn't have it mentally. And if you don't have it mentally as much as you have have it physically, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle. Look at Tom Brady. He's not very athletic, but he has it mentally. He has techniques laid out he's a very good quarterback and you know I'm not saying anyone is like Tom Brady you know it's just an example because you want smart players to, you, you want players to play smart you don't want talented players just to play like your stars if you guys get what I'm trying to get at Colin Cowder was saying it the other day you know uh, I don't know how to say it, but I don't want to say it anymore because I'm I'm just gonna say it wrong and it's gonna come it's gonna come off as the wrong way. But Jacob Beeson just doesn't have it. He just doesn't have it. He just doesn't, you know. And it's okay. It's okay. Some people don't. Some people don't have it for this. Some people aren't built for the NFL. Some people aren't built for the National Football League. And it, and, and it's okay. It's okay. But I wish Jacob Beeson the best of luck wherever he goes. I wonder if, if he will make it through waivers. I wonder if he will make it to the Colts practice squad. I, I don't think he's going to make it to the Colts practice squad. I don't, I don't think the Colts want him in that building. So, I guess we will see what happens. I guess we will see. I wish him. I wish you the best of luck, Beeson. I hope you get things figured out. But, you know, until you do. I mean, you know, I just kind of mean good luck, man. You know, you tried your heart out. Or... Um, you know, like I said, work at whatever. Good luck, Eason. Let me know what you guys think about Jacob Eason being cut. The surprising cut of Jacob Eason. That's going to be it for this video. So I thank you guys for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome, where we're not only talking sports, but we are changing lives. And I would like to thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.